like, share, subscribe. Hey y'all, welcome back. Number 59, we've got a, a triple problem here. We've got basically three problems in one. And it says, consider each function below is the domain of the function, the set of all real numbers. So in order for the domain to be the set of all real numbers, your function has to have a value for every input of x. Okay, in other words, like every x value that you can think of, you can plug that in there and the function equals something. But when we have these fractions, we have um, a potential uh, or the potential to have a domain that doesn't include some x values because they make it undefined. Um, and when we're talking about fractions specifically, um, you cannot divide by zero, okay? So if any x value makes the denominator zero, we cannot include that x value in the domain and therefore the domain wouldn't be all real numbers. So what we need to be thinking about is, are there any potential x values that I could plug in um, that would make the function undefined? So, like I said, with a fraction, um, just anything, uh, you know, a over b, really any fraction you can think of, is going to be undefined if b equals zero, okay? So in other words, if the denominator, and maybe I'll, I'll rename this, uh, I'll rename this n over d for numerator over denominator, okay, is undefined if the denominator is zero. So what we want to ask ourselves is, is there any x value here um, that I could plug in to make this denominator zero? And if there is, we're going to say, no, the domain's not all real numbers because we have like a problem with that particular x value. Um, but if there are no x values that cause that problem, then we'll, we'll check yes, that, that the domain is all real numbers. So in this case, uh, we, we want to be thinking, okay, well, can, you know, is there any value, any real value here that I could plug in? And the answer is, well, no, because I'm squaring this number. Okay, in order for this denominator to equal zero, this x squared would have to be negative two, okay? Now, is x squared ever negative two? I mean, technically, yes, because you could work with imaginary numbers, but those are not gonna be real numbers. There's no real number that when you square it, you get a negative, because squaring any positive number gives you a positive, and squaring any negative number also gives you a positive. So, no matter what you plug in x here, we are not gonna run into any domain problems. So there's no value of x that would make this undefined. So we're going to go ahead and say, yes, the domain is all real numbers. For the second one, it was pretty easy to find an x value um, that makes this undefined. And that is uh, when x is negative 1. If x is negative 1, then we get negative 1 plus 1 which is zero, and since we can't divide by zero, it's undefined, it has no value, then the domain is not gonna be all real numbers. It's gonna be, well, basically all real numbers except for negative one. And maybe I'll make a point here. Okay, x equals negative one uh, is not in the domain because it makes the function undefined. That's really what you're looking for. Uh, okay, now if we look at the last one, I think this is the trickiest one because we can use similar reasoning uh, to what we did on the first one to say, okay, well, there's no real number that will make the denominator zero, right? Because I'm squaring that. So whether it's positive or negative, this is always going to be a positive number. I guess it could potentially be zero if zero squared is zero. But if I add three to that, if I add three to zero or any positive number, it's still going to remain positive. So there's no value that I could plug in here that would make this undefined as far as the denominator is concerned. But we do have the square root of x, okay? And whenever you have the square root of a number, so I'll just say square root of x, um, I, I don't want to say that it's undefined here, but I'll say is uh, not real when x is less than zero. In other words, when x is negative, okay? So 
since, you know, we take the square root of negative 1, that's our classic imaginary number. The square root of any negative number is going to be a, a comp, what we call a complex number, meaning that it uh, involves uh, the imaginary number. So um, with that said, there are some values of x that would make this not real. So it still will be defined, but not real. So the domain has to be all real numbers, right? There's got, like, you've got to be able to pick any real number, including negatives, and get a real value out of it. But if I plug in something like negative 2 here, the square root of negative 2 is not real, so this is not, negative 2 is not going to be in the domain of this function. So this is going to be another no. Okay. Um, and yeah, my reasoning is really just basically this. Um, uh, yeah, okay, that's it. That's it for number 59. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a great day.